boys and girls. I have some friends with me this week to help me tell the story. Do you know what kind of animals they are? Can you tell? Mm, they are lions. Last week you had a big fish in your story and that story was about Jonah and Jonah ended up in the belly of a big fish. And do you remember what he learned? He learned that God was with him always and wherever he was. Well, this week I'd like to introduce you to a man named Daniel. And Daniel was a man who loved God and he served our great God. And the people around Daniel knew that he loved God. And the way that they knew that was the way he lived. And one of the things that he did every day is he prayed right out where people could see him. Not one time, not two times, but three times every day he prayed to Almighty God. And Daniel had an important job. He worked for the king. And he did important things for the king. And the king trusted him. And they got to be very good friends. There were some men in the kingdom who were not happy about that. They thought, I think the king likes Daniel more than us. We need to get rid of Daniel. And so they came up with a plan. They came to the king and they said, King, we think you should make a law that says that people should only pray to you. The king thought about that and he thought, that's a good law. Okay. Do you think that Daniel followed that law, only praying to the king? Huh. Daniel knew that you don't pray to people, you pray to God. And so he continued to pray, not once, not twice, but three times a day to Almighty God. And the evil men were watching, and they saw Daniel. What do you think they did? Mm. They went right to the king and told him, your servant Daniel is praying to God and not to you. No, what was the king going to do? He'd made a law, and in his kingdom, when you made a law, you could not change it. And so the punishment was that Daniel was thrown into a den of hungry lions. Hmm. How do you think Daniel felt? Do you think he was scared? He trusted God to take care of them. And there were those lions and they were hungry. But do you know what God did? He shut the mouths of the lions. The next morning, King Darius came and he called to Daniel, Daniel, has your God saved you? Daniel called back. My God, shut the mouths of the lions. I am safe. The king was overjoyed. And he made a new law. And the new law was, you should love the true God and worship and pray to him. Boys and girls, from that story, we can know that God is powerful. And we can also know that God is with us wherever we go. When we do fun things like go to the beach and uh, go on vacation, God is with us. And when we maybe are in places where we are nervous or um, maybe a little scared, we can know God is with us. Can we pray and thank God for that? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are with us always and everywhere. We thank you that you are worthy to be trusted. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, boys and girls, I thought today to do a little craft to remind you that God kept Daniel safe in the lion's den, that we might make a little lion mask, just like that. So here's what I use for my lion mask. Um, your parents can go online and they can print out this lion face, but you can make a lion face too or have your mom and dad help you. The other thing I used was a paper plate and I took a little piece of um, paper and put it on there and I just glued it on. And can you see how I just cut and I fringed it a little bit? And then I put a little stick, that's actually just like a little coffee stir. I put it on the back. And now you have a little lion mask to remind you how powerful God is and that he's with us always. So good to be with you boys and girls. I'll see you soon.